Ooh, all this purple or this blue water is pretty. Very blue, very purple, very good. But of course, in my previous life, I was to not fuck with it. So we're just going to leave it alone. So, yes. Uh, hold on. What part is this again? Blue ship part five. Okay. So, so from our understanding, we have a dynamite stick here. We have... Let's assess the situation. So dynamite there. Thing is cut off. So, obviously, you know, that needs to be blown up. And we'll get that going to the cool coolant pump. But that doesn't work. So let's see. Oh, we can push this. Wait. Wait, can we do this? Wait, what's that, first of all? Nothing. Okay. Alright. How about this? How about pushing that over there so that this can happen? Yeah, boy! That works! Oh! Hello. I agree. Whoa! God. Those head crabs! Jesus! Okay, yeah. Head crabs are now scary. And yes, I learned my lesson from last time. Just kill every last head crab before, you know, they... They scare me even more. Because, like... They're scary, and, uh... You know... I hope to drain that. Okay, there we go. That drains that... Excuse me. So that drains that, thankfully. Coolant basin is empty. Okay. So let's see... What we got over here? So some armor, so that's great. And let's see where this goes. Let us see where this goes. So down here. Fucking head crabs. Thank you for the head crabs. Thanks. <laughs> wow, I'm thinking like, oh my god, what these head crabs, man, these head crabs, man, y'all don't even know these head crabs. And oh, oh, we got a Tower of the Gods it. We got to do a puzzle just like Tower of the Gods in Wind Waker, which is basically to just create a uh, to create platforms of sorts for all of us. Of course, I don't know if this is going to actually work for all of this. But, you know, hey, whatever. It's all good. Yeah, I can just push it with the uh, thing. That's going to be, like, incredible. That's going to be really awkward to uh, to actually just push it. Like, for real Z, push it. Okay. Got to make sure it's right. Uh, that should be okay. That should be okay. So that way, you can just get across from there. Pretty easy to issue, to solve thing. I don't know what I said, but, you know, pretty easy, you know, puzzle right there. Pretty easy. And with the floating head crab, you know, obviously, that's, uh, that's surprisingly good. Okay, you know, okay, you know what? Yeah, that's what, you know what? All right, let's see if it worked. Hi. Oh. Oh, hi. Of course. You know, that's one thing I didn't miss from opposing force. That's one thing I didn't miss. Those dudes with the bees. And like, I'm like, oh my god, please stop. <laughs> it's a good thing. Stop. It's a good thing I quick saved right there. Because, oh, gee. Ah! Okay. Can I actually just use the crowbar and then quick save? Because obviously that's going to be really, really awkward. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I hear you. Oh, I hear something from behind there. 
I hear it. Hello? Okay, there. Die! Yeah. I see ya. I hear ya. But I don't believe ya. Hello! Ha! That was funny. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got over here. Oh. Okay. Hi! Ha <laughs> ha! You can barely get me, you loser! You loser! I make it back though. I'm gonna quick save just in case. Okay. Oh, you fucking head crab. God dang, gosh, diddly darn head crab. Seriously. Head crabs can now officially die in a fire. They're scares and shit. Oh! <laughs> and also Vorticons too, for that matter. Okay. Hello. Alright. So, turning all this shit on. Alright. There we go. Auxiliary power status on. Shit. And uh, let's see. Yeah. I think that's doing it. Whoa. There we go. Ox power is on. Hooray. Hooray! So, with that, we now can safely go back to the place where the cool, cool, cool scientist man is. I really like Dr. Rosenberg. Dr. Rosenberg is a scientist that I would go out to drinks with. I would seriously consider it. And, no, that is a terrible, terrible way to go. Also... Elevator should be on. Fool. Oh, okay. We can go, go from here to there. Alright. Let's see how this all goes. Ooh. Aha. power cell charged and back up to Dr. Rosenberg. I'd help, but I'm hurt pretty bad. You can probably push the power cell through the fence into the charging station behind me. Let me see if I can get out of the way. Oh, <laughs> oh God. That's definitely one way to go out. Just, uh, you know, you know, uh, do that. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what it, I'm trying to say here, but, uh, that's one way to go out. Just, you know, get yourself injured, help out for the greater good, and there you go. All right, let's do this. And that's it, I'm assuming. There we go. Power cell charged. Do I have to actually, uh... I... Oh, okay. I thought I would have to... Uh, my mind was thinking, like, Oh, God, do I have to actually carry 
carry said power cell all the way over to, you know, Dr. Rosenberg, and then, you know, I said, insert payload right there, and, and it was just like, yeah, okay. I don't know, my mind works weird like that sometimes, you know? Like, okay, so how we, how are they going to do, like, an escort mission for the, uh, for the power cell? And it's just like, okay, sure. All right. So now we got that. And now we can finally get out of the basement. Hooray. I go completely the wrong way. Okay. Here we go. This is actually way easier. Way easier than I thought I was going to imagine it. Like... For me, like, Half-Life, well, now that I know what to do, isn't really that hard. Opposing Force, A Leaf of Faith, wasn't really that hard, but, you know, yeah. We've already begun preparing the device with the fresh power cell you sent up. This time, however, the process is going to be a bit more complex, so I'll need you to help me in the main room. Let's hurry. There's no time to waste. All right. Here we go. Wait, do I have to push this? Nah, actually, I don't. It's all good. Hello. Let's see how it goes. Okay. What do I do, Mr. Right. Sir? I'll stay down here to monitor the system levels and direct the procedure. I need you to climb up to the control room and activate the main power. Once the process has started, you'll also need to release the damping locks each time the system has charged in order to open the displacement field. But don't worry, Mr. Calhoun. The process is simple. And I'll let you know when you need to do something. Okay. Alright, dude. What do I do? I'm waiting for your instructions. I can be Simmons. I will finally be the Simmons you want me to be. What are you waiting for, Calhoun? Get up to the control room and locate the main power switch. Alright. Stand by, Calhoun. Once the system is initialized, it'll take a few moments for the interpolating resonance coils to achieve focus. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh, wait, there's no other button. Okay. Okay, good. So, literally, all I need to do is just... Oh, no. The primary coolant line has been ruptured. Calhoun, go to the valve located on the catwalk and release the pressure. Before the system overheats. Okay. I'm doing the thing. This is no time for games. All right. The secondary coolant pipe. Good. Now keep turning the crank until the pressure is just normal. Oh, God. Why? Why? What? Okay. Okay. Stupid hound eyes. Let me not concentrate. <laughs> Freaking weird. Okay. I have my pistol at the ready. I'm ready. I'm ready, coach. Alright. There we go. Wait. Walter. No! Oh god. Oh lordy. Oh lordy, lordy, lordy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, man? Oh no. I hear the Marines. Oh dear god. All right, here we go. Bernie. You must go now, Simmons. Simmons! Simmons! No! Jesus Christ, Simmons. I'm going to go through next, but don't worry, Mr. Calhoun. I've set the system to automatically start the charging sequence once I've made it through. Just wait for the levels to reach full again and open the field like you've been doing. Okay. Okay, uh, but, but I'm worried about Simmons. Simmons is fine. <laughs> oh my god. 
Simmons. Oh shit. All right, do it. Good luck, Mr. Calhoun. I'll see you on the other side. No, dude. Nah. Gosh darn it. Gosh diddly darn it. Now I know they're gonna be fucking Marines everywhere. Oh God. Ooh. This is intense. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is, this is getting kind of intense. Wait, that I had to. Oh god. Oh fuck. Okay, I can do it by myself. Ah god. That's fine. This is okay. You got. Last stand, everybody. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Going down. And going back to the other side. Okay. Stop. I keep telling you, man. Okay. So, they're going to go through that door. Okay. Cool. Problem solved. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Here we go again. Here we go, boys. Gonna run through it. Yeah. Ah, epileptic, epileptic. Ah, there he is, Calhoun. You've arrived. When you didn't come through right away, we thought that. Oh no, there's something wrong here. Simmons, come look at Calhoun. His body seems to be in some sort of resonant displacement. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is literally. <laughs> God, Holy lady. shit. I was worried that a malfunction occurred at the last moment and you might have been caught in an infinite harmonic reflux. But if that's the case, then you're lucky to be standing here. Then again, we're all lucky. Thanks to you, however, we were actually able to pull off this half-brained idea. We made it, Mr. Calhoun. We made it. Calhoun. Out of Ranji. No further comments. Yes. Yes, indeed. Wow, oh, that's it. Holy shit. So the one dude, the one security guard who did his freaking job, saved all the scientists' ass. Man. That's got to be fucking metal, dude. <laughs> That is, that is supremely, supremely metal. But, uh, yeah, folks. So, that is Half-Life Blue Shift. So, yeah, I've been actually told that Half-Life Blue Shift is definitely the weakest out of all of them. It's definitely the shortest. It is definitely the shortest, as it only took me, like, like five videos to get through. And, uh, it wasn't really that long, but, uh, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was cool. Um, of course, the weapon selection is not as cool as, you know, Half-Life Opposing Force was. Like, I don't have to say, like, Opposing Force definitely had the better weapon selection. You know, with the barnacle hookshot thing, um, the alien weapons, like, extra weapon slots for the alien weapons, like those... Acid grenade stuffs and Sega of America. Sega of America. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not too really too too surprised about Sierra Studios and all that, but oh my god. <laughs> but 
you know, Sega of America did this. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, um, weapon selection definitely got nerfed from opposing force a little bit because, well, you're back to Gordon Freeman stuff and the AI, the uh, UI is basically very, very similar, except it's like blue and, uh, you know, all that. But getting to play as a security guard is actually interesting. Like, both expansions have been very, very interesting. With you playing as, you know, a Marine, uh, you get to play as, um, you know, one of the security officers. And that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I liked that. I actually kind of liked it. I wasn't as stumped as before. Like, the beginning had me very, very stumped and not in a good way. Like, not in a good way. Um, but, you know... I guess it just comes with the territory of Half-Life, I suppose. Like, I'm so used to games giving me direction. It's just like, I, I don't know. It's been very vague so far, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's all fine and good. It's all fine. But, you know, I suppose I might as well not end on doing nothing. I might as well just, uh, you know, good morning. end on the beginning good morning. again, I suppose. But, yeah, <laughs> I suppose, you know, from the tram where it all began, you know, and all that. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this this whole project. Like, again, I re I originally wanted to stream this, but I figured I might as well just make it into a whole like YouTube series. Um, besides, I couldn't really find these days. I can't really find uh, any time to stream, which it would be like extremely, extremely late. And uh, Lord knows my sleep schedule is already fucked. But. Half-Life has been, you know, a very interesting time. Very interesting time, and honestly, it's quickly becoming, like, one of my favorite shooters of all time. <laughs> I've been saying that about a lot of games I play blind lately, <laughs> that I played recently, and, you know, yeah, stuff just keeps getting topped. Stuff just, just keeps getting topped, and, you know, it's been quite a trip. It's been quite a trip. So... I'm eventually going to do Half-Life 2, and that'll be, you know, the Half-Life 2 project, which will be base game, episode 1, and then episode 2. I don't know if I'm going to do, like, Lost Coast, though, because that's only, like, one level. But, you know, well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I mean, if it's part of the Half-Life 2 experience, then maybe I'll do it. You know, when Half-Life 2 eventually, you know, starts, I'll pull up a poll and say, hey, should I do Lost Coast or not? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is the end of all the Half-Life stuff, Half-Life 1 stuff. Um, again, it's like I said, I'm not going to do Decay because, well, for one, I don't have a PS2. And another, I don't have, you know, somebody else to play with because, you know, even if I did, they, <laughs> they probably wouldn't be interested anyway. I don't know. But yeah, really, really enjoyed this. Really, really enjoyed this. And by the time this goes up, um, the free-to-play offer for Half-Life should be ending, you know, soon. So, please, for the love of God, play Half-Life if you hadn't already, because it's really, really good. And all their expansions are pretty good. And yeah. But at the same time, I'm finally, finally happy to actually move on to other shit <laughs> yes i'm finally finally ready to move on to other shit other than blind lps so i'm sorry audience go away i'm doing something that i know how to play <laughs> yeah whatever <laughs> i mean if you're here for half-life if you're here for the channel uh, for half-life and halo you know it's good it's fine but i want to do some other things before we return to those particular series for Half-Life 2 and Halo 4 slash Slartin' Ops. Slart Slartin' Ops, yeah. Anyway, before I slur my words anymore, I am going to end this video here because I am going to be editing the shit out of this. And also immediately going to work on the next LP. So, until such time arises when I 
you know, return to Half-Life and Halo. I will see you guys next time for something that is very familiar to me. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, audience. Goodbye. Anyway, see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching. And goodbye. My headphones just, uh, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you guys on the next time.